The following episode of Dad vs. Daughter was made possible by a contribution from Asthma Day. Hello and welcome to another special unboxing episode of Dad vs. Daughter. I'm Tim the Dad. I'm Megan the Daughter. Megan, what are we going to open today? We're going to open up Hadara, and this is from Z-Man Games. Yeah, this is a game we actually got to demo at Gen Con. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a civ building game where we're building a tableau out. Uh, a lot of very colorful uh, pieces. There is a lot of color this. in this game. Uh, we a little got... spinny bit in the middle. Yeah, it is a little yeah. spinny bit. So let's just open it up and show everybody. Okay. <laughs> I didn't notice this before, but these are kind of like different eras here. Mm -hmm. We've got like the uh, Native American, we've got the Egyptian, we've got the Viking. I thought that was a cheesecake for a minute. Because <laughs> no, we were right. just looking at the cheesecake from the Golden, uh, Girls, Golden Funko. Girls Funko. Uh, That's and then a sundial. Like oh, it is a sundial, yeah. Native, uh, uh, Indian? I don't know, I don't think so. Or African? Probably African, it looks like, kind of. I can't tell. Yeah. Well, you kind of have the Native Americans here, you've got the Vikings, you've got the Egyptians. Oh, maybe Roman. We got... So I guess there's, I don't know. there's some different Couple kinds different there. Things. So um, we did get to demo this, which was super fun. We only played end. one round though, but I did win when we played at Gen Con. Yeah. All right, go fun. ahead. So we had one of our friends actually demo it for us. I did. He did an excellent job. He did, yeah. That was Adam. Mm -hmm. Very good, Adam. All right. So here is our rule book, components, and communal setup player set up because this is um everything's happening all at once on your turn a lot well a, a lot of things yeah. are so carving statues taking colonies phase b buying silver gold medals and then a new epic epoch a new epoch game end final scoring Ooh. and then sure storing the game so wheel assembly that's always good to know when you have to assemble certain things that it gives you that information so all of the uh, pieces, I have this little uh, paper around it, but yeah, we're just going to yep. take that right off, off there. There is the punch out. We lost one already. Oh no. Yep. So here is the back of your player boards and those different colonies. The Gryffindor? No, it's not Gryffindor. But it's the lion one. So here's your personal player board here. I'll just show that off a little bit better. So you have your uh, money track, your military, military your... This is kind of like your civilization. I forgot yeah. exactly what he called it. And then your food track. You because gotta feed the people. You gotta feed the people. Yep. And then those, because it only goes up to 10 on that board, but you can get higher than that. So you have these little punch outs here that will fit right in there to show that it's plus 10. Which is kind of cool. So there's that one for the lion. Looks like here. It's got like a monkey up top there. Monkeys, monkeys, monkeys. Maybe. That one's kind of built in there. Some more colony cards. Let's show the back off there. Yep. This one looks like a dragon. Ooh. They don't do that tongue thing. Dragon. <laughs> and then here is the other one. Looks like a Pegasus. Mm -hmm. That one's kind of cool. So you got more coins there to punch out. All your other tokens. And then the wheel dial there, which will be wheel. spun around. Oh, but then there's, they call it a beetle. It looks like a scarab, though. That's a scarab. It's a scarab. Yeah. Yep. So then there's actually where you will place that wheel on top of. Because these pieces are going to... Uh, connect up here to yep. create the board. We're going to show you that in a little bit when yep. we put everything together. But in the inside here, we have our score pad. Uh, nice and thick. They're not double-sided, though, but you get a lot there. You do. Mm-hmm. Um, this, don't know if that one does yet, but there's that. Uh, I'm not really sure. Lots of baggies. A little piece for the wheel, which I'll just set aside there. Ooh, yeah, I see. That's actually a pretty good insert, and it did tell us how to assemble that, put everything away. So that's oh, kind of cool. the other part of the wheel. Thank you. Don't want to lose that. Nope. Show you the uh, the wooden bits here, so you can see that they are in the same shape as what the actual item is. So mm -hmm. you got your thing that looks like grapes. That's green. You got your money that's round like a coin. The red is a shield for your military, and the blue looks like a little uh, a little person, a little something, like a little peg person. Almost something. like a Fisher Price little guy that you, like, you know, you put in the little car and all. They have no legs. They don't have legs. They're just little peck people. So here is one of the decks of cards. There you go. 
So that's for your individual uh, player. So two, first player, fourth player, third player. Because you'll notice that, you, player. that you have uh, different starting uh, resources, basically, that's depending on where you're at. B side. So there's an A side. Ooh, cool. A couple different variants of that. Nice. So this one is actually for the third epic. So here we start with our first one. So they each gonna have their own different artwork. Um, and as you can see on the back, it tells you it's the first one. So that's kind of cool for each of the different um, like factions that you can recruit from. So your purple is kind of like your wild. They're the weird kid at school that does a little bit of everything is how oh. Adam described it. Um, so they're, they're kind of your wild. So that goes up to the second epic So there. flip that over and show them yeah. on the back side. You have the twos, so you have the twos and yep. threes. So. so very cool. And then here is for each player your epic summary. So for phase one, and then for phase A, phase B. And on the back it kind of tells you to just some scoring as well. Maybe for how, or no, the price. That's what it was for each of the epics. So like yeah. your first round is like one to four coins, four to seven, and then seven to nine. Yep. So let's, yeah. let's punch this out and put it together and you can see how it all fits into this cool insert. Okay. If you would like to support us, you can visit patreon.com slash dadvdaughter. Like and follow us on Facebook to stay current on our show schedule, sneak peeks at future shows, and to interact with us. Thank you.